So why are we working on the recognition problem? Well, recognition, it's a fundamental part of perception, whether you're talking about robots, autonomous agents, whatever. The idea is that the ability to know what things are and therefore how you want to interact with them is really important. It, it gives you a way of organizing and thinking about the visual content of the world. And perhaps even more importantly, it's a very human way of thinking about things, right? I, I give objects labels, and if I tell you to go pick up the cup and put it away, you know what I'm talking about. So we want our machines and systems to be able to do that too. So for example, autonomous agents, and here's a pair. The one on the left is a robot. This is from Karlsruhe, Tamim Asfor, and Rudiger Dillon's work on a um, domestic robot. And this robot has to be able to go pick up cups out of dishwashers. It has to know that there is a dishwasher. It has to see that, oh, I put that cup down, it didn't make it, I'm gonna go get it. It has to be able to be told that the cups go over there. All right. So if I'm going to communicate about these things to that robot, I'm going to use labels that talk about these objects. Even an autonomous system. So here, I think this was uh, Stanley. I think that was one of the Urban Grand Challenge vehicles, uh, one of the winners. It has to understand that this is a thing, and this thing, we know that it's called a car. All it needs to know is it's this thing that it learned a lot of things about, and that this kind of thing, which are cars, do things like continue moving, might stop, have certain behaviors. Likewise, that this object there might move uh, in your way. And it uses a lot of machine learning to do that, maybe not quite the traditional labeling the way, but the idea is that uh, these autonomous agents understand the nature of, of the world being carved up in objects, and I can communicate about them, and it can autonomously detect them. Labeling people, that's a recognition task. This is something we do all the time. You know, every time you tag folks on uh, Facebook and it both finds that it is a face, and we'll talk about detection in a little bit, but it also, you might want to know who it is. Peter Bellamer and folks did these digital field guides where you'd like to be able to like maybe take a picture of a leaf and say, you know, what kind of leaf is that? If you're into that nature kind of thing, which I'm not. But it's this idea of being able to, to recognize things. And maybe you found some really expensive stuff online and you say, please find me more shoes that look like this for any relatives of mine that I'm still continuing to subsidize. So you could use computer vision to help you find less expensive shoes. Just saying. All right, the idea of, you know, can I find something that looks kind of like that so I have to recognize that it's a shoe, maybe it's already labeled a shoe, recognize the type, that kind of thing.